Fletch, nice to see you. Um, what exactly is Gary Taylor Fletcher up to these days? Uh, obviously just come to watch the Leicester under 23s v Lincoln. A um, little bit of an agency now, working for an agency as a player, mentor, stroke recruiter and one of our players was playing for Leicester today but I thought being against my old team I'd come down have a look and you know what, I'm very impressed with Lincoln, second week of pre-season and you know the, the intensity and the way they played was unbelievable. Uh, another one of your former sides will come up against Lincoln City this year in Blackpool, is it a fixture you're looking forward to? Yeah definitely you know um, I'll probably be there, I'll be there at the game and you know it'll be a good game but as I say I've yeah, of watching today, I'm going to have a little outside bet on Lincoln to uh, to upset the odds and you know go again. You know they're organised, very very well structured and how they're playing, and obviously changed a little bit from going direct and playing a lot through the lines, which I was impressed with today. Uh, familiar face as well in Neil Erdley here. Was it good to see him as well? Yeah, definitely. You know what a player. Uh, you know I loved him and you know speaking to him, he's absolutely loving his time at the club. And I remember just before he signed, he rang me up to ask what it was like, and you know nothing but praise for for down at the Imps. The, for my time there, you know, absolutely loved it, and you know I know he's doing the same. Um, moving back to your time at Lincoln, uh, a lot of it has been said about where you ended up, and uh, but you, I know you look up back quite fondly at your time at Lincoln and, and specifically under Keith Alexander. Can you tell us a little bit more about what it was like actually playing under Keith and what it was like playing for Lincoln back then? Oh, it was uh, totally different to obviously nowadays and stuff, but Keith was absolutely fantastic. You know, he knew how to set a team up, he knew what the players wanted and what plays he wanted, and you know, he wouldn't put square pegs in round holes, he'd, he'd get the plays he wanted and how he wanted to play and just what everyone says about him you know he was a great man and he was probably the biggest influence I've had on my career as a whole throughout my whole 21 years of playing in football and I can't thank him enough but you know the job he'd done at Lincoln at the time under them circumstances four playoffs on the run you know was unbelievable we just couldn't make it that final step unfortunately but you know, nowadays the, the future's a lot more rosy for, for Lincoln at the moment.